despite strong message sent by government of india that sartaj azhi should not meet huriyat representative pakistan seems to be hell bent in talking to separatists so what should be done in this case now you see pakistan has always talked to huriyat there's not a new nothing new the latest was when on 23rd of march it was their national day they called huriyat leaders they were there when our minister was also there a minister who used to be the army chief he was there on behalf of india so what is the new thing now the problem is mufti sahab first arrest them then after 2 hours release them what is this game going on and sataj ji is saying that i am going to talk to huriyat they didn't allow jammu and kashmir assembly speaker to the Pal commonwealth parliamentary committee meeting that was taking place in islamabad they called off the whole thing and now they are probably not wanting to talk and making an excuse of huriyat that is all it's a, it's, a, it's a battlefield my only request to huriyat would be please if you want to save these talks tell pakistan high commission we want talks to succeed and therefore we will not come we'll come next time how does it matter they are not going to stop terrorism it's a major issue for pakistan survival also they are facing it every day every day people are dying because of terrorism we are also affected by the same terrorism so the only thing that was decided in moscow was that nsi chiefs of the two sides will meet there was no mention of huriyat or national conference or congress of bjp there was only mention of the two governments talking so where is this new element that they are trying to build now that huriyat is important huriyat has always been important for pakistan huriyat does not represent jammu kashmir and ladakh let's make it very clear this is one state and we are not going to become part of pakistan just because they talk to huriyat so you think that if they allow this thing to happen government of india will be somewhere coming to the pressure of pakistan because pakistan wants to make huriyat relevant by holding dialogue with them i fully agree with you they want to make it relevant that's why they always say is the huriyat that represents and huriyat never never had the courage to fight elections so how do they represent ladakh how do they represent jammu how do they represent kashmir where are they so what is all this bickering going on for